Hi, welcome back to Dallas Sports. If you're new here, please like, subscribe and share. And what we've got in store for you today is box kicking in rugby for halfbacks or scrum halves or number nines. Halfback, it's important for a halfback to be able to box kick. A lot of times coaches say, go and work in your passing or go and work in your kicking. And then the player walks away thinking, hey, I'm going to go and work on my kicking. And they end up kicking a thousand balls, but not improving. But what I'm going to show you is a few tips that will increase and improve you immediately. So stay tuned and it check out. it out. Right, tip number one is all in the hands, right? Big fingers, pressure points, 10 pressure points on the ball, right? Make sure you've got a good grip before you do anything, right? That's when you're obviously approaching the ball. When the ball is in the ruck, a lot of times players touch the ball with their hands and that means the ball is out, okay? So nowadays I would say get used to playing with the ball, okay? Get used to controlling the ball with your feet first. Adjust the ball in the direction where you're going to kick. So if I'm kicking that direction, I'm going to make sure that the ball is also in that direction. So that I don't have to mess around as I'm picking the ball up. It's just one good movement. So the important thing is, tip number one, big target, big hands, 10 pressure points. Okay, I set myself... I know where I'm going, my hips, my shoulders, everything is in that direction where I'm going to be kicking or aiming to kick. So big target, just like so. My hand, my palm of my hand is on the seam of the ball. So it feels good. So from here to there, right? As you can see, the ball is in line with my kicking leg. Okay, kicking leg. And that's what's important. Big hands, fingers spread. That's tip number one. Right, so from this angle, as you can see, obviously the light's better. Just gonna do exactly the same, big fingers. Okay, I know where I'm going, so big fingers, the ball's coming up there, and the ball is in line with my kicking leg. That's key. Fingers, ball in line with my kicking leg. Okay, so imagine this leg is gonna come up, and it's gonna, my, the sweet spot on my foot is gonna connect with the sweet spot on the ball. Okay, so that's tip number one. Big, good grip, big fingers spread. Tip number two. Okay, once you've done the, re the, the, you know, the picking up the ball, fingers gripping it. What's so important with any kick is this, the release of the ball. Right, release of the ball. As, I'm, as I was saying, what's now, what's second point, what's really important is the release of the ball. Okay, you want to still drop. And what does that mean? A still drop would look like this. Okay? The ball, when it, on the point of release, the ball will go down nicely. Does that make sense? If you drop the ball, this way, that way, you're gambling. Anyone can kick a ball. But the question is, can you kick it when it matters? And pinpoint it exactly where it needs to go. Okay? So the release of the ball is what's key. Tip number two, okay? Release the ball nice and still, also in line with your hip. If you drop it and you're connecting it too low, you won't get enough height, right? So you've got to make sure it's quite a high drop if you want to go for height, okay? So that your sweet spot can connect the ball bottom third. That's where the sweet spot of the ball is, okay? Are you with me? So if you have any questions at any time, comment below. Okay, and hopefully I can get back to you. That's tip number two. Tip number three, on the point of contact, right? So watch my foot. A lot of guys, they step back. If they're kicking that way, they step back. Look where my hips are now. My hips is facing the touch line. The important thing is you want to come straight up. Okay, so if you have to take a step back, your leg's going to come straight up. You don't want to go around like a volley okay that's not what we're doing because then you're gonna you're gonna be off balance so the key thing is straight leg okay and lock your ankle here's the secret what are you gonna do if you've got mud on your toes you're gonna flick it off right so it's foot to ball not ball to foot it's foot to ball so here this is what it should look like 
So from there to there, look at my foot. I'm allowing myself to come through with my hips and my shoulders and my legs coming straight up. Look at the balance. Okay, so now, now that we've established, okay, tip one, big grip. Tip two, the release of the ball. Make sure that it's in line with your kicking leg or your kicking thigh. Foot to ball for good connection. Lock your ankle, foot to ball. So I'm gonna say, let's go for four seconds hang time. That's enough time for any player to contest for the ball, to make it a contestable ball, whether it's 10 meters or 15 or 20. Four counts, okay? Check this out. One, two, three, four. There you go. So that's it for today. Check out Watch Out for Part 2. Next time, we're going to break down what it should look like when you're actually in a game situation around the fringes. So if you have guard, bodyguard, and the C defender, and this is the rut. Okay, so we're going to work on the transitioning, picking the ball up from here to there, from here to there, okay? Please like, subscribe, and share this, and watch out for more. Thank you.